You know, working in India today, working in any city has become a little bit of a mix of people who are very, very happy with their jobs and a lot of people who are very, very disappointed with their jobs. There's a lot of words that are floating around the internet suggesting that people are facing toxic work culture, work-life balance not being maintained, and a lot of people's mental health and mental well-being is being affected. We all know the case that happened with with a, a qualified CA named Anne. who actually lost her life because of severe stress from her work with Ernst and Young. Today's topic happens to be a very very sensitive topic because it talks about mental health, it talks about toxic work culture and it also talks about the sorry state of affairs of people who are actually working in 9 to 5 in major metropolitan cities in India. And I'm going to talk about the problem and I'm also going to talk about probably a solution to this as well. So let's get to the problem first. Well, we all know what happened with, you know, a qualified CA who actually lost her life due to severe stress and burnout while she was working with Ernst and Young. Now, EY and many other companies who are in management consulting and financial consulting literally thrive on long working hours, very very, you know, uh, brutal working conditions as well. If you tell somebody to work for long hours and if the work culture is peaceful people will be okay with it to some extent but unfortunately you add micromanagement add unreasonable deadlines and add long hours and not even giving a break on saturday and sunday which is basically you know it's a given that everyone needs two days off in a week then you actually get inside a toxic work culture Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the reality is that when people who are qualified CAs are themselves going through that kind of stress, then there is something severely wrong. And I'll tell you why. In order to become a CA itself is so tough in India. The number of exams you have to crack, the kind of work that you have to put in, and just the sheer competitiveness and the sheer magnitude of the examination of ca exam and how tough it is it is very very difficult in the first place to actually become a qualified ca and once you qualify as a ca and going through such harsh conditions such harsh micromanagement also takes a toll on your body and your mind and in this case it's not just you know the person who i'm talking about as part of the channel we empathize with you because the reality is that the entire workforce in india is kind of facing this issue one way or the other toxic work culture lack of work life balance is become a reality in india today on one side you have senior businessmen who are advocating for 72 hours work week and then unfortunately what they pay you is literally peanuts they expect you to work for 70 hours but they pay you literally peanuts so what's the point of working for 70 hours and there's also another argument that keeps going on internet saying hey if you don't like your job why can't you quit it why can't you join another company let me tell you something it's easier said than done when people are working and living paycheck to paycheck getting another opportunity itself means they have to apply to other companies they have to get interview calls from these companies and then they have to attend these interviews and then crack these interviews and then get an offer letter and then give a resignation letter to their existing company all this takes time and you can't just walk out just like that and one more thing is the indian mindset because of our sheer population and the number of people who are qualified waiting to get a job it's very easy to replace anybody like this that is the issue in india today a lot of people are struggling in their jobs they hate what they're doing they are not liking the fact that they're being micromanaged by toxic managers they are not liking the fact that they are being managed by a whole sort of people and given unreasonable deadlines and unfortunately they can't do anything because if they can't leave immediately because they have emis to pay which is linked to their salaries that come every month and also it's not just easy just to get a job it's not like you leave today and then you'll join some other company it's not at all easy so don't give such advice as well i also hear a lot of people saying hey you know what everybody is replaceable we need to learn to manage stress we need to all take up yoga classes we need to do this we need to take care of our mental health and all these too much of information and gyan that is given to everybody today but let me ask you a question If you're working 16 hours or 14 hours a day and you don't even have weekends to spend for yourself, where the hell will you get the time to even do yoga? Hell, where the hell will you get the time for yourself? 
where will you even get a time to say hey let me take care of my mental well being now when you don't have the time to do your work and if you're already so stressed about it where do you get the time the only time that you get is for you to sleep and even your sleep cycles get disturbed so in that case stop giving such advice saying people should learn how to handle stress no people should learn how to handle stress and even managers should learn how to not stress workers out india's problems according to me is micromanagement severe micromanagement happens at all levels you give a task you own that task just give them time to do it the way they're supposed to do it if you keep micromanaging them this is what's going to happen people are not like you and they will label you as a toxic manager and i notice the trend that a lot of people between the ages of 40 and 50 love the tag of being called toxic managers but let me tell you something ai is not coming after the millennial generation they are coming after you because your jobs are going to soon get redundant 40 to 50 you are the guys who are actually going to get affected by ai the most and you have to tell other people that and you love being called toxic managers let's see how ai will be as toxic as it can be for you because that is what's going to happen in the future and one more important thing this entire work life balance conversation that is happening on a daily basis today it is absolutely necessary take an example of a person who's an indian who's working in the us and an indian who's working in india Number one, he gets paid way lesser to what he's what the Indian in America is getting paid, and number two, work-life balance is actually taken care of. And I'm not saying people in America or any other countries they don't work really hard. They do work really hard, but they know that weekends are meant for as a weekend. Nobody is going to disturb them, and they also know that when you when work is done, nobody disturbs them. because guess what even the management there believe in the same work life balance and the culture this is something which is really really rampant in the us you know why because first of all the demand of number of people who are actually available qualified people are way less there than here because of the population and getting jobs in the us is actually a lot more tougher so even hiring people gets a lot more tougher so companies make it a point to ensure that the attrition is low and to give every single benefit to their workforce so that they don't they stick around and they don't leave because that's how complex it is outside whereas in india we have so many people who do not have jobs who are waiting to enter the job force so even the hiring managers and the hr guys know that if somebody leaves you will get 10 replacements 10 interviews can be arranged immediately and out of that maybe one or two people get a job and these are the same people who will end up again getting into the cycle of you know facing this toxic work culture it's not just applicable to the financial consulting companies like EY KPMG Grant Thornton and you know uh, the Deloitte and other companies every single company be it startup or big the big MNC you face this problem because indians we are huge in number and our per capita income is so significantly low that people are hungry for jobs people do what they are supposed to do and it's very difficult to say no because when you speak to your manager the manager will always tell you learn to say no learn to say no learn to say no but then the same guy goes back to the same manager and says no once and he says no twice the manager will put them on a pip which is a performance improvement plan and that is 3 months of sheer pressure and now you go through the pip and once you enter the pip you are st- you start looking out for jobs and by chance if you don't get a job you are going to be a nervous wreck because why you have so much of stress you have bills to pay and unfortunately the job market is not that kind right now so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls these are the main problems that we are facing as a country well the solution is simple stop micromanaging stop this whole idea that you have to be available on saturday and sunday and keep your demands reasonable do not have unreasonable expectations every single company in the world today and even in the country today set unreasonable targets for themselves if you are in sales you guys will resonate with me that sometimes your targets seem unreasonable for the product that you have If you are in tech you know sometimes sometimes the things that you want to build and the deadlines there are unreasonable be a little more practical and pragmatic when you approach certain things understand that people have lives to live and a job is just a matter of 
getting paid for it that's it so stop micromanaging people stop being toxic to your own workforce and as millennials if you are managers we need to start from us we need to be less toxic to the people that are working with us so that the entire workforce atmosphere changes long working hours is okay if the long working hours are worth it if you are having fun working then fine if you want to hustle you do it but if you are a regular person who just wants to work and who is being boggled by this too much of amount of pressure that you have then you need to understand two things number one unfortunately this is a country which has a problem it's not just you it's a lot of us and number two things will change and have to change and it will they really change when there are a lot more people talking about it right now we are talking about it and i hope we don't stop talking about this because what's the point of trying to become a developed nation when the entire nation is filled with depressed mentally ill workforce because this entire thing takes a huge toll on your mental well-being as well as your sanity and if you can't take care of that then what's the point of living in a country that is poised to be one of the superpowers of the world let's become a little more happy as a nation that is when we will actually be able to enjoy the fruits of what this country will offer us in the future and is offering us at the moment otherwise all these things do not make sense if you agree with me leave a comment below if you do not agree with me if you want to if you want to abuse me do comment below and please share this video to as many people as you can because this is just a millennial way of discussing the problem at hand and let's find a solution together because like i said before our generation is the present and the future of our country